Hey everybody, welcome back to the Board Game Spotlight. I'm Derek. I'm Lizzie, and we are trying something new that we could totally regret. Brand new. I have no idea if this is a good or bad decision. You may never see this. Because, uh, as Lizzie and I like to call them, you know, listen, we're, we're super open, right? Like, we are candid with you. We have a great time live streaming. We have a great time recording videos. But learning games can be a little stressful. Oh, when well. you learn a lot of games a week, uh, it can get a little... Uh, interesting. We I call think... them the Yellies. We do. <laughs> yeah, we got I a little bit of the Yellies. I know, but I like it. Like the Yellies. Like you didn't tell me about that rule. All right. What? Okay. <laughs> the last game we just played, you did not tell me about a rule. So you'd like hit me with it in the middle of the game, and I was like, um, but we have been playing this multiple times, and just now you're telling me about that. But I couldn't get mad because we were recording. So it didn't sound like I was like complaining, <laughs> but you totally did not tell me that rule beforehand. Oh man. That totally this, like threw me. This is this is the content the people need. We is it have though? we we have never played this game before. This is Enchanted Blooms from Calliope Games. Honestly, before we were suited today, I didn't know existed. So like we know nothing about this game. It's a hand management game. Can you get it open? I'm gonna try my best. Do you need me to do you it? You all get to see the struggles of all of this, like opening boxes. The art in this is so gorgeous though, let's be honest. We all haven't right. even taken the cards what? out of like their... They are still they are still in their beautiful <laughs> shrink uh, wrap. I'm gonna put this behind us. Like okay. oh look at that. Look how pretty that is. So enchanted plumes. Oh look at this. Look at the way the rule book opens. Like <laughs> Oh, That's interesting. Manly. All right, so we're we are literally going. Okay, I from don't think you need to keep saying rule book to game. I all think right, they got it the first two players times. remove all cards that are seven, eights, and nines. So if you would like help with that, uh, I can help oh, you with that. So you take that one. Okay. Oh, this one's already done. Oh, these are nice. Perfect. That's the okay. pen. Okay, that's in. So they eight, should. This should be really easy actually for the first game. So there's seven, eight, nines of that suit. Uh, seven, eight, nines of that suit. Oh, that's a zero. Okay. Seven, yeah, it's a zero. Eight, seven, eight, nine. There's various suits. All right. Seven, my seven, eights, and nines are out. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, then you're going to shuffle the feather deck once it is prepared for the correct player count. Okay. Okay. Would you like me to shuffle? No. I want you to read. Cool. Deal every player nine cards. From those, each player chooses six to keep. The rest of them go back on the deck and we reshuffle it. Deck on the deck or in the deck? Um, the returns the remaining three face down to the deck. Yeah, face down to the deck. Face down to the deck. After players have chosen their hands, we're gonna reshuffle the feather deck with the cards that were just returned. Okay. Then without looking, oh, what happened to the peahen? You gotta take the peahen out. I think we gotta shuffle then. You're the worst. <laughs> I just got to that part. Don't shuffle the pee hen in. It's okay. It looks different than all the other cards. It should be easy. I say it should be easy to. Ah, oh, there it is. The pee hen. Okay. Give those a quick little shuffle. There's the pee hen. I'll keep that over here. Uh, <laughs> Anything else I should know? This is awesome. I love this already. I cannot wait to do more of these. Uh, then, without looking, take the top seven cards from the deck, shuffle the pee hen card into them, and return this short stack of eight cards to the bottom of the deck. Okay. Ooh, okay. Because when we draw the pee hen, I think it'll be it like endgame game. or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why don't you keep going so that we know okay, all the cool, rules cool. so that we don't get to something and be like, oh well that just changed everything we've just then, done. No 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 then place the feather deck face down uh and then flip and reveal five cards which are called the train. The player who last saw a peacock, which is both of us because we just went to the zoo recently. Um or you can decide to you to choose randomly uh who goes first. Um, you want to do rock, paper, scissors for it? Oh, <laughs> fisticuffs? Are we doing fisticuffs? That's a new rule. That's a new one. <laughs> I'm going to look at my hand of cards now. And I'm going to... Now, I should tell you before... I know what was happening. I was so confused. All right. So... Before you choose your <laughs> six cards, here, um, let's read through yes, the rule. Yeah, I know. I told okay. you to do that. On your turn, you must play cards and replenish your hand in the order described. First, play one or two cards, uh -huh. either to start a new plume or add one to an existing plume or plumes. The cards may be used together in the same plume or split up among plumes. 
Next, replenish your hand by doing one of these three actions. Draw exactly two cards from the deck, swap exactly two cards from your hand with the train, mm -hmm. or in either order, draw a card from the feather deck and swap one with your hand with the train. So swap, swap one with the train. So draw and swap mm -hmm. or swap and draw, however you want to do that. Okay, okay. Important, hands are limited to six cards. You cannot draw a seven. So if your first draw brings you up to six, you cannot draw a seven. Uh, you must, you would then have to swap with the train. Mm -hmm. uh, because you have to do, you have to fully do one of those actions. Mm -hmm. uh, after you've completed both steps, play passes clockwise. Mm -hmm. So building a plume. So what we're doing here is we're building like a reverse pyramid. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. assemble the plumes playing feather cards in rows from top to bottom, matching cards of identical colors from row to row. Cards placed on the top plume are scored as negative. So anything in your top is gonna be negative while cards placed in lower are all going to be positive, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, so feather cards can no longer be added to the higher rows in that plume. So once you've like gone to the next level, you can't add any more above. Mm -hmm. But here's the, here's the catch, this is what's really cool. Um, you can only use colors on the next level mm -hmm. that match the level above it. Mm -hmm. So if it's like red, yellow, orange, blue, mm -hmm. the next level can only be red, or orange. Red, yellow, orange. Right, you can only use those. <clears throat> you may begin a new plume at any time before replenishing your hand. Plumes containing only one card are always negatives. So you can have like multiple plumes, you know, like you could have multiple little stacks going, mm -hmm. from my understanding. Um, rules for building plumes. Number of cards in a row. The top row may contain as many cards as you want. The following rows in a plume must contain one less, because again, it's a reverse pyramid. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if a plume has a top row of four, the next row must have exactly three. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. Oh, so you can make it bigger than four. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Colors in a row, the top, but again, remember everything at the top is going to be negative. So you wouldn't necessarily, unless you had like six unless zeros. You had a bunch of zeros. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Like, who cares? Uh, colors in a row, the top row of a plume may include any number of feather colors. Those colors determine which feather colors can be placed in the row below it. That is, a row may include only colors from the row above it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that makes sense, right? Yeah. Locking a row. Yeah. Once another row is started, the row above it is locked. Mm -hmm. Feather cards cannot be added. Uh, and a lower row cannot be started without meeting the minimum requirement of the current one. So like, you couldn't have four, th like four and two and then start another one. You'd have to go four, three, two, one, right? Mm -hmm. Has to be perfect. Uh, completing a peacock. A peacock is complete when its plume tapers to uh, down from a locked two card to a locked single card. Mm -hmm. The feather card placed in the bottom row must still obey the rules for building the plume, but should be played face down. Mm -hmm. The image on the reverse side looks uh, locks at the bottom row, completes the peacock. Oh, that's super cool. Oh my gosh, I just saw that. It's gonna like build. Oh my word, I love this. Oh my gosh, you just now realized I love that. this. Okay, you know what else he just realized, guys? I know what you're gonna say. He just realized that Elizabeth Olsen is related to Mary Kay and Ashley. He like told me about it last night and I was like, wait, you just now? And he's like, yeah, but she's like so much older, right? I'm like, she's younger. It's true. And like, all the funny stuff about like Full House and Scarlet Witch, like, one of it, like, I was just like, I can't believe feel you like, did not know this. Feel like and he's old, like, oh, I told him like, whatever. I feel like old Han Solo, it's true, all of it. I had I just didn't think Derek about Derek the Wise. Anyways, yes. Ending the game. Ending the game. When the pee hon, the pee hen, when the pee hon, when the pee, they're getting all the best. Like this is how we learn games. Uh, when the pee hen card is drawn from the deck, play immediately ends. So just, just like that. When you get the pee hen, add them up. Hmm. Scoring all plumes score points. So it's when the pee hen. So you could finish your peacock and I could keep going because you're done. But I could like really. What? No. This goes in the deck when it's drawn in one of the last eight cards. I know. What I'm saying is you could make a really small peacock and then I could keep going and go through like the whole deck. Mm -mm. What? You could have more than one peacock. I told you that you can have more than one oh, plume. I missed that. Yeah, you can have multiple plumes. So I could just do one big one, and you can just do like multiple ones. You could do a big one and a small one. I mean, I I've never played, so I don't know. It says I it totally plays, missed that. You can have more. It says it plays in. I don't know. Did you read that? Or are you just like? I'm looking for it. Thirty, 30 minutes. minutes. So you probably can only make a really big one. I don't know. We're gonna find out. You can have as many plumes as you want, but remember, they're gonna score points uh, for having like. You know, the top cards. The top cards are all negative. I, guess. Uh, I, get it. I get it. So then 
All plumes score points even if they're not completed peacocks. Flip all cards in the bottom rows of completed peacocks face up. Mm -hmm. Cards in the top row are worth negatives. All remaining cards are worth positives. Mm -hmm. To calculate, obviously, we know how to do that. Peacock bonus. Ooh, ooh. Completed yes. peacocks uh, score one bonus point for each card used to build them. Ooh. So the larger your peacock, I like the more it. points you get. I'm going for a big one. So you get that big old peacock plume going. Uh, and then, yeah, it talks about some scoring stuff. Your score is equal to the total point value of your plumes plus any peacock bonuses. The player with the highest score at the end wins. If scores are tied, the tied player who completed the most peacocks wins. If players are still tied, we get to share the victory. Okay. So I really just need that part where it tells you what you can do on your turn. That's fine. Well, the first I thing totally we, did not. That's fine. So the first thing we have to do is, oh my goodness, look at colors. Can you see all the colors? I, I can see most of the colors. Now I am colorblind, which actually, you know what? I'm not gonna bring out my colorblind glasses because every peacock has a symbol. So okay. I just have to match the symbols and I should be good. Okay, so wait, it says set up, um, shuffle feathers, yeah. deal every player nine cards. From those, each player chooses six cards to mm -hmm. keep as their starting hand and returns three. So let's do that right now. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So I'm looking at what I'm keeping here. Okay. So then I'm going to keep that one, and then we're going to turn these back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I just read this again just to see? Wait, hang on, I um, reshuffle, after players have chosen hands, reshuffle the feather deck with cards that were just returned, then take the top seven. All right, so I will reshuffle this when you are ready. Mm -hmm. This art is here gorgeous. I can't wait to see the end of the game with these peacocks to see how they look. Wait, would you, why'd you take the rules away? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So after the paper chosen the hands, reshuffle feather deck and the cards that were just returned to it. Then without looking, take the top seven cards. Okay. Shuffle the peahen into them. Okay. And then return that to the bottom of the deck. And do the whole casino shuffle. So, do we decide who's going first, or were you just you really go gonna like punch no, me? Yeah. <laughs> you punch me? Like, no, it was that was not a fist up. That was a that was a like. No, they came up. That was a defensive posture. It was not an attacking posture. All right, so here's the train. The train of cards. Oh, okay. Flip the top five cards into a line extending to the right. This is called the train. Player. Okay, so are we gonna be able to get these on? That's what I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping we You're have enough have room. You're gonna have to put them, yeah, like. Yeah, so I'm gonna put just, them up there, yeah. On your turn, you must play cards and then replenish your hand in order to describe. So first, play one or two cards, either to start a new plume or add to your existing. Mm -hmm. Cards can be used together in the same plume or split up among, okay? Next, replenish your hand by performing one of the following. Draw exactly two cards from the deck. Swap exactly right, two so cards you from your from... hand from the train. Yep. Um, in either order, draw one card from the feather deck and swap one card from the train. Right. So you can swap and then draw or draw and then swap. So okay. there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of nice okay. manipulation happening. So I'm first? Yeah, you're first. Okay. So it said play one or two cards, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're playing both. And are those going into two separate plumes or one well, together? this is one plume. Cool. I'm also going to take this one. Okay. Which you have to swap, right? It's a swap, not a take. So oh, it's okay. a trade one to one. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then you could do that again or draw. And then I will. I'll draw. Okay. All right. I'm going to play. <laughs> um, now, can I just see? No. I know. Just you double read checking the rules. The rules. I know I did. No. I'm just making sure, can I split, I can split the played cards, right? Play one or two either to start a new plume or add to an existing. Yeah, so I can start two plumes. That's what I'm exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start two different plumes right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to uh, swap and swap. Okay. That's, what it, that's what it said, right? Yep. Swap exactly two cards from your hand with two cards from the train. Yep. 
And then I'm going to draw. <laughs> oh, lovely. And I don't know what I'm here. Okay. So I'm going to play two out. I'm going to play this one here and this one here and draw two cards from the deck. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place this one. So how many decks are there? Oh, how many different? D does it say? There's a hundred cards. And if they're split between... If zero to nine, so it's ten decks. Yeah. Okay. So... Zero to nine makes ten, yeah. So, in the top row, yeah. can I have multiple cards of the same color? That's a good question. I did not see it anything Because may about include that. any number of feather colors. These colors determine which co feather colors may be placed in the row below. That is, mm -hmm. the row may include only colors from the row above it. For example, if the row of plumes includes feathers that are red. It says the top row may include any number of feather colors. So I don't see any stipulation that says it can only have like one of a color. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you'd want, like if you had a zero white, I don't see why you'd want to add a one white to it. Because it would just make sense to start another plume because I think you're going to end up scoring more points having multiple plumes mm -hmm. to get that pe peacock bonus, right? That's so. Uh... Who's turn? Well, like, is it my turn? Mm -hmm. No, I need to draw. No, you gotta, yeah, because you just played. So then. What's the H? That's a oh, four. Oh, that's a four. That's four. <laughs> Looks like an H. I did not see four there. Um, I guess if you're looking at it upside down. But that's a I mean, It yeah. looks like a capital H and it's just kind of like. Oh, away. I see. <laughs> I just thought it was artistic. <laughs> oh, no, you're not, you're not wrong. Like, I, I just see an H, so it's I very it. confusing for me. I love it. Because I'm in my hand and I'm like, what am I going to do with this H? I don't <laughs> they know. They added they... letters to the game? <laughs> just one letter, though. All the rest are numbers. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Okay. Don't put that H next to a zero. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go with... I'll put this here. And this one here. And draw two more cards. You're making a freaking big peacock. I like it. Go for it, obviously, okay. So that means... Hmm. I'm gonna have to draw one. I'm gonna, to save space, I'm gonna overlap these just a little bit, because I feel like that's probably... Okay. I can still see like what colors are supposed to go mm -hmm. where. I think that's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna place this here. I'm gonna place this card here. And draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna place this here. And then I will place this here. So mm. I will swap this for this. And Interesting. Interesting. I will swap this for this. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I can play one or two cards, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and play this card here. And I'm going to swap. Um, I'm actually going to draw first. Mm -hmm and then swap. It's your turn. Okay. So I'm going to this. And this. I'm going to draw two. Okay. So I'm going to play this card here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play this card over here. And then I have to draw. I'm gonna draw two cards. Okay, 
I'm gonna put this one and this one and draw. So do you have one of every color? No. No? Okay. No, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Nice. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna play this card here. And I guess this is where these actually would need to be spaced out just a little bit more because I have to fit four cards on this row. But I guess if I do it kind of the same way, it should be okay. Again, doing a live strip like a live over top plays, only the stipulation for space. If I was not recording this, I clearly would have uh, them wherever I want. No, you're good, you're good. I mean, you can do however you want. I know. And then this matches, so I'll put that there. And then I'm gonna swap this card and draw a card. I'm gonna place this one and I will draw two. Okay. So I'm gonna play this one here because that matches with that. And I'm gonna play this one. Oh, I've already got. Well, I guess I can just do that four times there. So, yeah, I don't think you. So can you repeat colors? I guess you can. I didn't see anything, anything in the rulebook that, that didn't say you couldn't repeat colors. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna play this one, and then I guess I will do this one, and then I will draw two cards. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So I think what my problem is going to be is I don't know if I'm going to have enough cards. So I need one, two, three, four, five. So I'm looking for a lot of very specific colors the further I get down. Yep, I'm going to draw two cards. this five here and I'm going to swap a card. Ugh. No, I'm gonna draw first and then swap a card. I'm gonna play this and then I will swap this for this. Okay. And Oh, because you can't play it. I don't it. have that color. Solid. The colors solid, are really yeah. important. All right, I'm going to play that, and then I'm going to play this, and I'm going to draw and exchange. Okay. I'm going to play purple and a red, and I'm going to just draw two cards. Okay. I'm gonna play, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got four cards here, which means I need to play here, and then play here, and I'm gonna draw two cards. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put one, and then I'm just gonna draw two. Okay, so I'm gonna play this card here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I guess it makes sense to go left or right though, so I can see those uh, numbers. Maybe. Okay. And then I will draw two cards. We're getting down to the bottom of the deck here. Okay. Placed here. Cheater, cheater. I did cheat, so that's gonna come back to my hand. Do you have six cards though? No, I have four. Okay. Uh, no, it's a mis misplace, misdeal. Uh, that means I need to get rid of that card then. So I will play this. Oh, wait, I can. Oh, oh, okay. 
Interesting. I see how this gets harder as you go along. Oh my. Uh -oh. What happens if you can't place one? I don't have a color that I can place. Just go to the actions. Can I see the can I read the robot? Yep. I just want to see. It says you must play cards. First, play one or two cards. You'd have to start a new one. Oh, you're right. I would have to start a new one. Oh, that's bad. That's negative point. <laughs> that's not good. Mm -hmm. Uh, We'll start... Mm, it's going to be tough to show off, but we'll start that plume over here. It's probably just going to be a single card. That's going to be where all your... <laughs> I don't have anything to play. Oops. Oopsies. So then I need to start gathering cards that I can use, like this one. Mm-hmm. Which is unfortunate because it gives that to you. Mm -hmm. And. Yes, uh, super unfortunate, thanks. I'm gonna swap out here. Okay. That one, that one, I'm totally gonna take this. I knew you would. I mean, you have Man, to. Man, uh, I don't think anyone needs blue. Yeah, I don't think either of us built that, huh? Mm -hmm. So then this is gonna go here. Uh, this one is gonna go here. I'm going to swap this card, and I'm going to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this game is good. I'm like thinking, oh, I don't want to play both my cards because I don't want to have to be at the mercy of like only have playing the cards I drew. So it's like, do you play one or two? And then I'm just like, okay, if I lock myself into a single color, then it's going to be very, it's going to be a little harder. You can like, mm -hmm. you know, I can look, okay, the, mm -hmm. the zero, one, three, four, five. So Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wowzers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swap. Wow, nobody needs any of those. I'm just drawing two cards. <laughs> I'm going to place this. I'm going to draw a card. And then I'm I mean, I guess you to... can use those white ones up there. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna place uh, this here, that, and then mm -hmm. that. I'm gonna swap here and draw. And it is your turn. Um, so I'll place that. I'm gonna draw a card. I think we're getting down to the final eight. <laughs> oh, good. My turn? Yes. I'm gonna draw. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's two cards left! <laughs> Which means you're gonna draw the PN. Mm -hmm. There's no way you don't. Unless you just swap two. But then you then be letting me play cards and get points. Behan. Oh, 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 oh man. Okay, so neither of us completed a peacock. Because <laughs> you went but I wide, went for it. you went too I wide, went and for I did it. too I many. The, I was still almost so, successful. I could have placed negative points. These two on my next. <laughs> no, I couldn't have placed that one. I could have placed one more card. My mistake was not having a place to play any blue. Like down the line, I should have grabbed. Like mm -hmm. wow, I I shouldn't have doubled up on the pink. I should have saved the pink I for am, the next show, and I should have yeah. done one more. I probably should have done blue. I would immediately. How many I, blue came out. I would immediately play this again. That's anyway, I want to play. Let's okay. go to scoring. So, so negative points for. Top row. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna read through it like you always say. That's right. Always right. read through the When the peacon card is drawn from the deck, immediately ends and scoring begins. All plumes score even if they are not completed. Flip all cards in the bottom rows of completed, but we don't have anything no. completed. Cards in the top plumes are worth negative points. All remaining cards are worth positive. To calculate the total score of the plume, add up the value of the cards in the top row, then subtract the value I'm of the plume. I need my calculator. Sum. Okay, the peacock bonus. Completed peacocks. So none of us got it. Score one. Incomplete peanut. Peacocks do not Peanut. score. Bleh. All do right. Not score so, oh, I could have gotten that bonus. Would have been so awesome. here's how I'm gonna do it. But I didn't just I'm gonna do my positives here. first, and then I'm gonna subtract my negatives. Well, I have two, four. It's just gonna six, be easier to just subtract. Seven, eight, nine. So I just have nine. So make sure I'm not adding H's in there. Yeah, add those H's. Okay. 
Okay, I've got my score. We'll reveal. It's gonna be very interesting. Okay. What's your we'll score? We'll do. We'll just reveal, and we can look at each other. You want to count it down? On the count of H. Three, two, one. Fifty-six. Seventy-four. Oh, the bigger peacock wins. The bigger. Who would have thought that more peacock feathers would win? <laughs> well, I had a lot of sixes and fives and fours. Yeah, 56. Man, this one killed me. Not having a place to play this. So if I were to replay, I would make sure that I'm swapping out cards that I can't play. Remembering, because the sequence is play, then draw. Mm -hmm. So I would swap out You always want to have at least one card you, you can play in your hand. You always want one card you can play. Because otherwise man. you're in trouble. Dude, seriously Unless though. you're like, oh yeah, I totally want to start a no peacock next round. What'd you think? For us learning it live. I mean, recording it, you Right, know? just recording the first play. Definitely. We didn't have any yellies. No yellies this time. That's all right. Maybe next time. <laughs> oh. Anyways, uh, this, like we said, this is part of like a new series we're thinking about doing. If you enjoyed this video- We'll see how it goes. Let us know if you this like this. Uh, we're, we're pretty happy Literally, the thought here is that we're just gonna grab a game um, Obviously, with this series, it would have to be small box games correct. or like light. We're not going to pull Kanban EB off the table and like record us learning that one. But if it's a small box game, if it's generally like 30 to 45 minutes, I think, you know, we could definitely uh, do something like this again. We've got many small games that we can do this with. For sure. um, so I hope you like the game. Oh, and I would recommend this. Yeah, I As a, like it first, like a first game thoughts, like yeah. I would I like really it's got kind play. of like a little bit of the cascade, but I mean, you don't like in it's just like you earn the stuff. The but I do, it's very aesthetically pleasing. This is another chill game, very fun. Like, yes. I really enjoy seeing the peacock come to life or the multiples that you made. The multiples, I had a little family of if peacocks. If I had just made mine like one smaller and added one more card in the second row, I think I totally would have had it. Two smaller, you definitely would have had it. Like you went for eight, six, you definitely would have completed. That's I think. true. So, that's true. I totally and agree. that's just first game. I mean, that's a good question. How big can you make it? I don't know. Clearly, that didn't work, but it was close. Clearly, it was just slightly, just too, slightly big. too big. But it is what it is. Anyways, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time. 